In this video, I want to show you how you can use Power Automate to save email attachments to SharePoint folders automatically. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So recently I've implemented a Power BI solution that automates my client's manual tasks on a daily basis. Let me explain. So every day my client receives an email that contains an attachment from a system that they need the data from. Using this attachment from this email, they download it into their system, uh, plug it into Excel and do their transformations there. After they do their manual transformations, they send it to their clients and this task happens every single day and it takes them about 30 minutes. But now because of this Power BI solution that I've created, we have taken that manual process over um, and used Power Query in Power BI to sort of automate that uh, steps that they do every day so they don't have to do it again and again. So to illustrate what I've done here is what they have so far with my solution. So uh, when they receive an email, uh, our clients, all they need to do is download the attachments from this email and then upload it to a SharePoint folder. This SharePoint folder is then what Power BI uses to automatically fetch the data and do the transformations in order to present it into nice charts in a clean format. I've highlighted the actions, the green arrows that are automatic. So receiving the email is automated um, and the Power BI where it fetches the data and transforming it uh, into charts is also automatic. But unfortunately, the part where um, our client downloads the attachment from their email and then upload it to SharePoint is still manual and unfortunately we have to work with this process because we can't access the data from their systems directly so that's why we have this roundabout way of getting the data from an email to a SharePoint to a Power BI. Now there's nothing wrong with this process and in fact it's even better than what they had before um, just because it doesn't take them that long to do this process every day all they have to do is download the attachment and upload it to somewhere uh, which takes them maybe one or two minutes a day better than 30 minutes every single day. However, there's a potential problem that could arise with this system. Now, let's say our client, John Smith, isn't able to access his emails uh, at a certain point in the day. So either maybe he went off sick or maybe there's a problem with the mailing system. That means that uh, the part where he needs to download the attachments and upload to SharePoint uh, can't happen, which means in turn, the Power BI reports can't be updated. So now I want to address the solution. I want to remove the dependency to a person uh, into the solution to make it fully autonomous. And this is where Power Automate comes in. What we want instead is an automated solution that checks your emails automatically. And when it detects the email that you want with the right attachment, it automatically uploads that attachment to SharePoint for Power BI to use. So let's have a go at implementing this automation using Power Automate. So let me show you the different components before we go with the demo. So first, I want to show you the email that we receive on a daily basis from the client. So this email is just an email that I sent from my personal account and it sort of replicates how we get it, uh, the daily extracts from the system on a daily basis. Take a note of the subject of the, um, uh, of the email who sent it and the attachment itself. So typically this would be like a daily extract from that system. And this is the file that we want to use for our reporting. So we want to extract this and upload it to a SharePoint folder somewhere. So this is a test SharePoint site that I've created with a folder called grocery sales. And I'm going to use this as an example of a SharePoint location in which we want to upload the file that we receive in our email into. And if you're curious with how Power BI pulls data from SharePoint folders like this, combines them and does the transformations automatically, I've actually covered it in a separate video. So check it out if you haven't yet. So from here, we're going to create a flow and the easiest way to do it is by using a Power Automate template. So from this uh, folder that we have where we want to uh, dump the files, you'll notice a button here, Automate. 
and if you create a flow from here it will give you some suggestions in templates of what you can create so if we look at here you can see we have a template save my email attachments to a SharePoint document library if you click this one it will load up the template for you and it if we hit create flow what it will do is it will automatically create the triggers um, and the actions that uh, you need for this template to work and if you hit edit here you'll see that it has already pre-created uh, things for you to use so you don't have to know so much about power automate for this to work from here let's expand the uh, the trigger here on new email with attachments so we want to say okay wait for uh, new files or new email coming from my inbox I'm gonna expand show advanced options and here's where you specify what kind of filters you want to apply for this trigger to work um, and this is why I told you to uh, take a note of the subject of the email and who sent it because this is where you specify it so we know the email uh, will be coming from my personal email so I will just uh, type that and we know that the subject will be grocery sales because if I just remind you how it looks like, this is the email. So it comes from my personal email and the subject is grocery sales right here. So now that we know what the trigger is, the next thing that we should check is the condition. So uh, normally here you need to specify where you want to dump the files to. Um, but what's really cool about this template is because you've kind of already uh, specified where you want the files to be dumped at because where you open the template. So here's where you normally do it. But um, the Power Automate template already recognized that uh, this is the folder path that you want to save your files into. So in this grocery file sales folder. Uh, so you actually don't even need to worry about that stuff. So all you need to do from here is hit save. And that's really it for the Power Automate. So you now have a flow that is waiting for an email with a specific subject from the specific person um, for it to trigger. What's great about using these templates is that it actually also creates uh, handling errors. So for example, there's an event where you weren't able to create the file or something goes wrong with the flow. Um, if we expand yes, for example, here, uh, you'll see that uh, there's there are actions here that are connected to the creation of the file. If it's not created, you'll see that it actually sends an email to you saying that uh, why it failed, which is really handy if especially you're having any issues with um, creating files into the SharePoint folder. So now let's give it a try. Let's uh, open the flow first just to monitor when it gets triggered. So the trigger should come up down here in the run history uh, and what we're going to do to trigger this is if you remember we need to send an email to myself uh, with the subject called grocery sales uh, and with the attachment is the new file which uh, flow should automatically download and upload to the SharePoint folder here uh, so we're gonna go to my um, my personal email here I'm gonna email it to myself I'm going to type grocery sales is the subject, as you remember. And we're going to attach the file right here. Hit send. And now we wait. So here we are. We've received the email from the personal email that I have here. Um, it matches the subject so hopefully now that if we go to the flow it should be detected and it would upload it to the SharePoint folder that we have so now we look back at our flow and you can see that it's been triggered uh, you can see the status how long it took and when it did it and if we click there you will see that uh, well it succeeded in uh, doing all of the steps and if we now look at our SharePoint folder here You'll see that the folder um, has a new file now, the grocery sales 2021, which is the attachment from that email. 
and that's it so now we've automated this part of the solution and what's great about the solution is that it still works even if the user is offline so for example i went offline today and i never logged in uh, this process will still work because your office 365 account uh, is in the cloud and it's not tied to if you're logged into your laptop or not also means that your SharePoint folder is always up to date with the latest data as soon as you receive the attachments from your email, which is absolutely great. And that's really it for this video. I hope this helped you understand how easy it is to start automating tasks like saving attachments to a folder automatically using Power Automate. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.